Back with us right now is John Harwood. We also have James Galbraith from the LBJ School of Public Affairs at the University of Texas, Mark Calabria from the Cato Institute. Um, uh, let me get right to your reaction, gentlemen, um, to, what, uh, to what we just heard from the president, James Galbraith. What do you think? Well, I think the president gave a very forceful speech. He connected with the American people on this, and he reinforced what the Angelides Commission was doing yesterday. So the timing and the content and the analysis were good. The proposal itself doesn't impress me very much. I think it's uh, inferior to a financial transactions tax, mm. yeah. inferior to what the British did by taxing bonuses, and it really doesn't get to the basic question, which is that we really don't need all of the financial sector that we have. We really very badly need to restructure it, to shrink it in a way that makes it more competitive and more effective for the economy. Mark, do you agree with that? Our email is going about five to one, surprisingly against what the president is doing. I can't say that I agree with it. I, I found a lot of it uh, disingenuous and revisionist, and revisionist history for the most part. Uh, you know, for starters, you know, it's Keynes 101 that you don't raise taxes in a recession. This is going to be contractionary. And even worse, he is talking down the equity of these banks. So, yeah. you know, if you run down the equity, you run down their ability to lend. Why do you want to do this during a recession? So I think that that's problematic. I certainly think I share this, the president's sentiment that we want to get our money back. You know, I will note right. we will spend three, four, five times as much bailing out Freddie and Fannie, yet there's that's no it. plan to fix Freddie that's and Fannie, it. and there's no plan to get the money back from yeah. Freddie and you Fannie. See, so now, where's our money I want my money, money back, there? too, as a taxpayer. You see, Jamie... Uh, I want all my money back. It, I think it's it, a tax matter that's really very minor. This is $120 billion spread out over 10 years. It's a drop in the bucket from the fiscal standpoint. But it will. Well, it the, does the tack on, Jamie. I mean... It does tack on 15 basis points or so. I don't know all the details. I'm just reading off and of Reuters. And it does Reuters. run down the equity. It's, it's a tax. It, does run it down may the run down the, the equity of the bigger banks and to if the benefit you, of the smaller ones, which would be a good thing. But as I say, I think these effects are relatively funding. minor. Mark, if you tax funding, you're going to tax bank lending. And at the end of the exactly. day, you're also you're taxing reduce shareholders. Yeah. And you're the question taxing is what the bank lending? They're doing it. Yeah, but it's going to well, happen. Well, it's disingenuous to argue for more bank lending. It's, it, it's hypocritical to argue from more bank lending at the same time that okay. you're running down their equity. I have a question for John Harwood, and this is one we've gotten a lot of emails about. What about the $50 billion that the Fed or the Treasury has made off TARP so far? I mean, they're not counting that, right? They're the $120 billion that we may not get back. Let's talk about the math for a second. You know, that's what they think they may not get back, so that's what they're trying to recover. They're saying they're going to recover 90. Are we counting the 50 in profit that the government has made off TARP? I don't think so, but uh, shouldn't we be happy about that? Yeah, making but 50 I mean, billion off this program. Yes, but that yeah. means that I think, means, I think, I think are, our government I, is. I don't know why they, we are so deep in the red ink. I think we should uh, be clapping for every bit of revenue well, that the, well, uh, the unexpected revenue that we've got. Yeah, but John, you know, yeah, we're financing all manner of record spending. I mean, that's an issue. By the way, I just want to put this in. There are rumors. The newspaper Congress Daily is saying off the hill rumors that the bank tax will be countered by an extension of the uh, Bush tax cuts through. 2011 and maybe 2012. That's a rumor out there. Mm. All right. We've got to leave it there. Thanks to everyone. For